Today we are using our DecoArt multi-surface paint and our reusable Icon Art stencils to make a super cute wedding gift, some matching mugs that are double-sided. And if you wanna see how we made them, keep watching. So the first thing I do whenever I am going to use my Icon Art stencils on a cup, mug, tumbler, whatever, is clean it with glass cleaner. You can also use rubbing alcohol, but just make sure to always clean it. And I just wipe them. I want to make sure I don't have any fingerprints on there, any dirt, any residue. I just always, always, always clean my glasses and mugs before I, I put Icon Art on them. But then I also want to make sure they're completely dry. I don't want to add my adhesive stencil to a wet surface. If your mug is wet at all, then the adhesive on the back of your stencil can stick to it like glue. I'm also using my Smart Jig here to hold my mug. And that works really good for glasses and mugs to just kind of keep them in place so they're not rolling around as I'm trying to work. So I just cut a little corner in my stencil stencil so that I know what side to put the back, back on because I am going to be reusing this stencil for both mugs. So I do want to make sure that I know what side to return the clear backer to. And now I'm just adding my stencil. Of course, uh, you can use your white squeegee to burnish away any bubbles or get rid of any bubbles. And that works really well. And once I have it on there the way I want, I'm just going to add my paint. So of course, I'm going to be using my Deco Art Americana multi-surface paint. I use this for all my glasses and mugs and cups. And I like to apply it with these cotton rounds. I find that they leave a nice layer of paint without removing too much, but still allowing me to remove as much as I want. Um, this and also a makeup sponge is the best way I've found to apply paint to these kind of cups. So I'm just making sure, first of all, that I get enough paint in all the mesh openings. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more just to make sure I have the coverage I want. Because this is white on black, I want it to look nice and opaque. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more and just then kind of like wipe away the extra with the cotton round. And that's all there is to it. One thing I really like about this method is if for some reason I removed my stencil and I didn't like the way it looked, I could simply wash it off the mug, wash and dry my stencil and do it again. I find if you remove this, the stencil and kind of like uh, don't go too slow, just kind of like I'm going too slow on this one, but remove it kind of like nice and fast, you'll get a more crisp edges. That looks super good. And now I'm gonna set that off to the side to dry while I go wash my stencil. So like I said, I am gonna be using this stencil again for the white mug. So I'm just going to return the backer. I just match up my two corners or, that are cut and then I'm going to dry it. I'm gonna be drying it in my film dryer so that it dries a little faster, but you could also hit it with a hair dryer on low heat or put it in front of a fan and that will help it dry faster as well. Just dab off the extra water with a paper towel first so that to speed up the process. And then I'm ready to move on to my next mug. So while that stencil dries, I'm going to use my other stencil that I'm putting on these mugs. I'm going to have a front and back to these mugs. So I'm going to put my other one on the back side of this mug. And that's just their names. These, is, these are going to be some camping mugs for a couple that are getting married in October. And they just love camping. So this is a super cute little adventure gift to give them for their camping trips to remember. The kind of like his and her matching mugs. So of course I'm cleaning off my mug again and then I'm just going to add the back stencil. So that just has their two names on it and the date. So I'll do this side exactly the same as I did the front, except this time I'm gonna be putting black on white instead of white on black, of course. <laughs> and I'll just speed up the process because it is exactly the same so you don't have to watch it all over again, but I'm doing the exact same thing, except this time I am using the DecoArt multi-surface in black and I did the stencil a little bit smaller and as you can see I got a little bit off the edges of my stencil but that's no problem it wipes right off these mugs no problem at all so then I'll of course wash and dry my stencil the same way so once my stencils are completely dry and the 
mugs are completely dry. I just used a heat gun to speed up the process a little bit on the mugs. And like I said, I used a film dryer to speed up the drying time on my stencils. So once those are both completely dry, I can go ahead and add the designs to the other side of the mug. So I'm reusing the stencil. You can see the little bit of white paint left on it from the front, no problem. Um, they're completely reusable, which is the great thing about these stencils. I'm actually gonna also reuse the stencil for two more parts of this gift. I'm making a matching wine bottle to go along with it and a matching card. I'm gonna use this design on their card and gift box so it'll be a whole matching wedding gift at in the end this is just one little part of it but i'm going to be using this stencil for the whole gift and i'm super happy with how this turned out so let's move on to the black one and finish this up and of course i'm going to do this one exactly the same way as i did the white one i'm reusing the stencil great thing about them is they are repositionable so if you do happen to put it on there crooked or something like i did you can just remove it and reposition it no problem and then i'm just going to add my white paint a little bit extra and remove my stencil and that also looks great super happy with how that turned out so cute i love the black and white matching cups i got these on amazon and then the final step is to bake them so i just make sure my ink is completely dry and set my oven to 325 and then i put my mugs in the oven cold well the oven is cold and i just put it in there right away so while it's preheating and then i set my timer for 30 minutes and I let them sit, bake in the oven for 30 minutes, of course. And then once the time is up, I just crack open my oven and let them sit in the oven until everything is completely cooled off and cool to the touch. So I just let them sit in there for a while afterwards. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Looks great.